let's understand the third important part here which is relationships so what do i do when i say relationships i am trying to find out the relationships between different components of the balance sheet so i am trying to compare the equity with debt or i am trying to find out the relationship between equity and debt that would give me a ratio which is popularly known as the debt to equity ratio or the financial leverage sometimes i am trying to find out the relationship between current assets and current liabilities this ratio is popularly known as the current ratio sometimes i am trying to find out the relationship between some of these assets and the current liabilities so only the cash receivables and some other assets which mean quick assets divided by the current liabilities which is called as the quick ratio so what does this ratio tell me this ratio tells me that how much is the cover available to me in the form of the quick assets the assets which are easily realizable into cash or which are easily convertible into cash and can they cover up my current liabilities that is the liabilities which are due in the next one year to simply put it do i have sufficient cover in the form of assets available to me in the next one year to pay all of these liabilities that is the simple explanation for the quick ratio like this there could be many more relationships which could be found out another one is fixed assets to the debt ratio which effectively tells you the facr that is the fixed asset coverage ratio which tells you do you have sufficient cushion in the form of fixed assets to cover your long term liabilities or the debt additionally you could include many other items even from the income statement as well as the cash statements to find out various relationships one simple example is i'll take the net profit or net income number and divide it by the equity from the balance sheet which gives me the return on equity ratio the roe so in relationships i am trying to find out various ratios and understanding various coverages or the returns or the margins and similar type of numbers and analysis this is the third way of looking at the balance sheet and reading between the lines